Okay, so in this video we're going to start adding on some things to our camera to make it look a bit more realistic. So if I show you the photo again, we're going to add an extra bit onto the lens and we're also going to cut away parts of the lens again to make it look a bit better. We're going to add on a top section here and a button as well. So let's get started on the lens. Select the front face of it. Right click, create new sketch. And we're going to be drawing lots of circles here. So press the C key for circle and it will snap to the center of this circle here. So wait till you see it snap, click and draw your first circle. You can type in the dimensions as you're drawing the circle. So if I type in 40 here and press enter, it means that I don't have to go back and dimension this later. I'm going to press Q. I'm going to select the circle and I'm going to extrude it by 15 millimetres. You can always just type in your sizes in here and remember that it's joining, so all of this again is just the one thing. Press OK and we've created our first little extrusion. Let's now make this lens have a hollow centre to it. So we'll have to draw another circle on this edge here or this face. Click this face right click it, create sketch, C for circle, hover over the centre and this time I want you to make your circle 30 millimetres in diameter. Q will allow us to push, push pull it, select it and we're going to pull it back in this time by 5 millimeters. Sorry, I just had to think what size it was going to be. So it's just going in five millimeters just now. But notice that when I pull it back the ways it's gone red and this operation here has changed to cut. So Fusion understands that when you want to remove material if you're pulling it into something that already exists. You could always change it if you wanted to but we don't need to. Press OK. Now I'd like to select the surface, right click, create sketch, I'm going to go for another circle and this one's going to be 20 millimetres. Now Q for um, extrude, click the circle and again pull it back. Now we're going to pull it in 10 millimetres but we're going to do an extra thing to it this time, so minus 10. What we can do here is we can add on an angle so it doesn't just extrude back the ways straight. But if we type in minus 30, you'll notice that it's got a cone shape to it now. And we press OK. And now this is looking kind of cool. This is looking like a camera lens as if it was opening up. Now don't forget that you could always go back in here which is our timeline, you can see the timeline is now filling up with all the different commands that we've done and you can always fix things if you accidentally um, mess things up. You right click on it and you just select edit and it will take you back into this menu allowing you to fix any mistakes. Right, so let's look at the top surface here, this is quite a quick one. We're going to draw this extra bit on the top of it, let me show you the photo again, this extra piece up here. And it's going to be really quick how we do this because we've got a, a, a good tool that's going to help us out. So I want you to select the top surface so it goes blue. Right click it and select create sketch. Now we're going to draw this same shape but we're going to do it in a one hour with one tool. If I bring up my sketch box by pressing the S button on my keyboard, I'm going to type in off and it's the start of the word offset. And this tool is very handy, so I'm going to click it here. An offset allows me to select a bunch of lines, so I'm just going to hover over this outline here. I'm going to click it. And what it allows you to do is it will redraw the lines for you either bigger or smaller, and it's an exact copy of them. So I'm going to type in here minus two millimeters and select OK. 
And what it's done, it's selected the whole profile, even the rounded corners and everything, to save me having to draw all this again. And it's drawn it for me two millimetres smaller, which is exactly what I need. So let's press Q so that we can extrude. Select the surface. And let's now extrude this. Let's just press Home so we see it from our nice angle here. And I want you to extrude it 15 millimetres up. Joining on, press OK. So our whole top piece there got drawn using just one command and uh, an extrusion. So that's looking pretty nice. Let's add the button on the top. Click the top surface. Right click. Create sketch. Circle. Press the C key. Let's zoom in so that we can place the circle round about here. The circle is 14 millimetres in diameter. And we've also got um, to place this in the right position. So let's press D for diameter. Click the centre of the circle and this edge. And this size here, I want you to type in 25 millimetres. I want you to click the centre of the circle and this edge. And here I want you to type in 8 millimetres. So the circle is actually, this button's at the back of the camera. Press Q so that we can extrude it. Select the surface. Let's just press Home so you can see what I'm doing. And we want to extrude it 8 millimetres up. Press OK. So this isn't looking really good just now. Um, camera's almost done. If you manage to get to this stage, you could, if you want, skip on to the rendering video. But I'm going to show you the final tricks to make this look super realistic. Cause it is looking good so far, but there's little special things that we can now add on to it to just give it that extra bit um, of realism. I'm going to do that in the next video.